welcome all in this video we will learn theorem regarding the continuous function the theorem states that if x and y are two topological spaces and f is a function from x to y then following statements are equivalent the first is f is a continuous function second is for every subset a of x f of a closure is contained inside closure of f of a and third is for every closed set b of y inverse image of this b f inverse of b is closed in x these three statements are equivalent so we will prove that statement number one implies two two implies three and three implies one so first we will show that statement number one implies statement number two so for this let f from x to y is a continuous function then what will be our claim to show that for every subset a of x f of a closure is contained inside closure of f of a so for this we will consider a as a subset of x now what we will do we will take x belongs to a closure what does this mean f of x belongs to f of a closure so what we have taken we have taken f of x one of the element of f of a closure now we will show that this element belongs to closure of f of a but as x is belonging to a closure what does this means x belongs to a or x belongs to a dash set of limit points so we will consider case 1 if x belongs to set a then f of x will belong to f of a but we know that a set is always contained inside closure of itself so f of a will also contain inside closure of f of a so what we got f of x belongs to f of a closure implies f of x belongs to closure of f of a so in this case we are done with the proof now we will consider second case if x belongs to set of limit points that is x belongs to a dash let v be any neighborhood of this f of x then f inverse of v will be open in x such that small x belongs to f inverse of v as the function f is continuous that is f inverse of v is the neighborhood of point x but x is a limit point what does this mean this neighborhood that is f inverse of v contains at least one point of set a so say y is the point of a such that y belongs to f inverse of v intersection with set a but what does this mean y belongs to f inverse of v as well as y belongs to set a further this implies f of y belongs to v and f of y belongs to f of a so what does this mean f of y belongs to f of a intersection with v so what does this mean v is the neighborhood of f of x such that it contains a point f of y of f of a so by the definition of limit point f of x is the limit point of f of a but as we know set of limit points a dash is always contained inside closure of set a so this implies f of x belongs to closure of f of a this means f of x belongs to f of a closure implies f of x belongs to closure of f of a so in both these two way we are done now secondly we will prove that statement number 2 implies statement number 3 so for this let a be any subset of x such that f of a closure is equal to closure of f of a then what we have to prove we have to prove that there exists a closed subset b of y such that f inverse of b is closed in x so let b be any closed subset of y then what will be our claim to prove that f inverse of b is closed in x so for this we we'll let a is equal to f inverse of b now to show that this a is closed that is we have to show that a closure is equal to a itself now one way is obvious a is always contained inside a closure this is always true so only remains to prove that a closure is contained inside set a and to prove this we will first take element of a closure and we will show that it lies in set a so for this let small x be any element of closure of a what does this mean f of x belongs to f of a closure but as we know by statement number 2 that f of a closure is contained inside closure of f of a so what does this mean f of x belongs to closure of f of a now a is equal to f inverse of b what does this means f of a is equal to b what does this means closure of f of a is equal to closure of b 
so therefore f of x is contained inside closure of f of a and closure of f of a is contained inside closure of b but as b is closed set b closure is same as b itself so therefore we got that f of x belongs to b and what does this means x belongs to f inverse of b but as we know f inverse of b is equal to a as we consider a is equal to f inverse of b so what we got x belongs to set a so we started with point x from closure of a and we got that the point lies in set a so what we got a closure is contained inside set a so from 1 and 2 we got that a closure is equal to a itself so f inverse of b will be closed set so in this way we are done with this proof and now statement number 3 implies statement number 1 this is actually definition of continuous function if inverse image of closed set in y is closed in x then the function f is continuous so this is obvious so in this way we are done with this theorem